The lag on your laptop doesn't just happen out of nowhere. That is so laggy on your laptop. Kind of paradoxical. Do you ever just open The Sims 4 and realize that is so laggy on your laptop? We're gonna fix your lag on your laptop as well as in The Sims 4. Ooh, it's actually snowy outside. Kind of paradoxical. The lag on your laptop doesn't just happen out of nowhere. It is caused by certain apps or by, you know, a lot of files piled up on our laptop. Or it could be that your laptop is no longer longer that performant for running the sims 4 game and in that case there's always something that we can do about it we can actually still use that laptop if we know how to deal with our laptop's resources or if we actually can upgrade it if you personally find yourself using browsers all the time while playing your sims 4 game that is really much affecting your gameplay because this browser actually consumes a lot of resources i've dealt with sims 4 lab in the past i'm still dealing with it sometimes nowadays and i'm also playing on a laptop so i truly hope i can shed some light on how you can manage lagging on laptop do you see i have the sims 4 open and then i have google chrome which is using pretty much a lot of my memories if you are a pro you probably already know this but this video is both intended for beginners as well as for pros because i do personally think that we all have something that we can learn from anyone else we all start from somewhere if you're wondering how you can pop up this window i've just pressed ctrl alt delete on my keyboard at the same time and then i went to task manager the game is already using a lot of my laptop's resources which are cpu memory and disk this basically means that it uses 20 percent of your processor's resources two gigabytes out of your ram memory 1000 megabytes equal one gigabyte so we have almost 3000 megabytes equal to three gigabytes if you don't know how many gigabytes you have on your laptop or on your pc you can actually open up your file explorer or this pc you can actually type in the search field right over here this pc and it should show up and then you can right click on this pc go to properties this is RAM memory, so do not confuse it with your internal memory. So this is your storage, right? Where you can see how many gigabytes you have free of your total internal storage. The more RAM memory you have, you might have like 4 gigabytes, 6 gigabytes, 8 gigabytes, 12. Some of you do have 16 gigabytes or even like 32, 64, 128, which is a lot. We're talking about like a high performing gaming PC at 128 gigabytes. But for most of us, it will be somewhere in between 4 gigabytes and like 16 gigabytes. Actually, do let me know in the comments down below how much RAM do you have on your computer or on your laptop because that might be the cause of your lagging you can see that the sims 4 uses three gigabytes out of our total ram memory which is a lot especially for those of you who do have like four gigabytes or six gigabytes it can be quite tough at times to like run it i do have to mention that i do have a few expansion packs and a few game packs it's really important to consider this thing as well let me know in the comments down below how many packs expansion packs game packs kits do you have in total so we can chat and talk about our lagging situation it probably uses this much memory because i have a few packs installed the higher the settings the more resources our game is going to consume that chrome you know you see once we've closed it off it no longer shows up and it was the second most consuming app on our pc this is going to consume a lot of our memories so whatever browser you might use try to close your browser while gaming because it's going to make a huge difference another thing that is going to help you what other apps are running in the background are those really like mandatory see like there are some things that come with windows that are mandatory for instance this one again do not close any processes any apps that have to do with your operating system do close any other apps that are running in the background that you are not using at the moment for instance this windows widgets one i don't have it on and it's still taking 36 megabytes out of my 
memory so i'm gonna end the task it doesn't sound like much but when you have like so many apps consuming your ram memory it just adds up it just basically affects your whole gameplay another thing that impacts your some sort of lagging on laptop is actually having very little storage left so if you find yourself having the red bar you know what i'm talking about this red bar right whenever you're clicking on this pc it's best to like check out what is going on with your storage have you recently downloaded something that is a big file and that you don't actually need because i know that some of you do use mod in cc and so certain cc do come in like archives there can be like a bunch of them and when we have like a bunch of them that file tends to be a lot bigger even though it's not a big file i know that i did myself i did use to you know just download a lot of cc the archives would remain in the downloads folder and so over time i built maybe hundreds of cc files that i didn't need to have in my downloads folder because i have already unzipped them and installed into my you know documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then mods folder again do not delete any files that have to do with your system that are mandatory for you that are important okay do only delete those files that are no longer necessary for you another location where a lot of files tend to pile up is the desktop they do pile up on the local disk C. So if you do have two partitions, which means that you do have this disk as well as another one, you can try to, you know, just copy those photos, documents that you have on your desktop to your other local disk. Another alternative for you would be just copying those folders or, you know, pictures that you have on your desktop and that aren't like that mandatory onto a flash drive, onto an external SSD, HDD. Another thing that can tremendously, you know, boost your Sims 4 game and fix the lagginess of the game is actually installing your game onto an SSD, a solid state drive that runs faster than an HDD. You can actually search your laptop's model on Google and see your specs. So specs stands for specifications. So you can see how much storage you have, what kind of storage do you have? Is it an HDD or an SSD? How much RAM do you have? What kind of processor do you have? Does it have like four cores, six cores, eight cores? You know, installing your game onto an SSD, if you have the possibility to actually add an SSD to your laptop, and you can tell whether you can do that or not by checking out the specs. Because if you do have two slots for storage, or if you have one slot that is being, you know, occupied by your HD, and that HD can be replaced by an SSD, then you can do that. Or you can also use an external SSD. It doesn't require, you know, pulling that HD out of your laptop. It doesn't require you're seeing if that hd is gonna fit into your computer because it's also really important to find a compatible ssd for your computer but if you go for the external ssd or even an external hd that has like decent speed and when i'm talking about speeds i'm talking about those writing and reading speeds so those are very crucial it's a lot easier to install an external storage just because it's plug and play another thing that i've recently discovered is actually turning off bluetooth as you can see right here i have it turned it on but actually turning off bluetooth if your laptop does support bluetooth is actually a game changer your laptop is you know continuously searching for devices basically we don't want to put like an additional burden an additional you know to do thing to do for our computer do not use mobile hotspots it's gonna consume a lot of resources a great way of dealing with lag is actually using ethernet instead of wi-fi so if you see this sign over here you can see that little monitor so an ethernet is basically a cable right i have a lot of cables over here so this is what i'm talking about it is a wired connection so you basically have internet directly from your router it's a lot more stable and it doesn't require that many resources as the wi-fi does another great way of you know reducing lag on laptop is actually removing any kind of widget 
widget that you may have on your desktop. So I don't currently have any widgets on, which means that my laptop isn't consuming additional resources for those. There was a time, I think in 20. 2010 2011 around that time when i did have like windows 7 and those widgets were so fancy everyone used them and you probably still use them i get it they are so useful they are so cool to look at and when i'm talking about widgets i'm particularly talking about clocks they can be also sticky notes they can also be maybe some reminders do let me know if you still use widgets on your computer another way that we can you know just adjust or manage lagging on laptop is actually removing any kind of wireless devices that might be connected to your computer your keyboard your headsets try to use them wired if you find yourself that you have like this red bar a lot of the time and if you cannot seem to like get rid of any unnecessary files then it might be the time to like upgrade your storage to a bigger one when it comes to ram if you do have four gigs of ram that's the minimum requirement for the sims 4 if at least four gigs if you're planning to play the sims 4 long term and buy many 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 packs in the future i think the 16 gigs is a better alternative for you the ideal thing would be not to upgrade it the next step will be upgrading your pc getting an extra stick of ram if you feel like your laptop is pretty old and that upgrade or that investment isn't that worth it you can obviously try to find a better alternative for you so i've talked about what are the ideal gaming setups gaming laptops gaming pcs for you if you play the sims 4 so i do have like two videos on that topic i'm gonna link them right over here as well as in my description description so not proclaiming myself to be like a techie guru by any means like i'm just speaking from my own experience and like really recommending stuff that works for me and that i think that would work for you too i truly hope this video helped you out and i will see you in my next one bye